Hi, so, hi, so it's been quite a while since I sat down in front of a camera and spoke to it and all that kind of thing, but I've been getting quite a few comments on where am I, how am I doing, all that kind of thing, and the truth is, like, I kind of finished chemo and just started to get back on with life, like, it was such a weird confusing process that it took most of my energy so whereas before through treatment i've been kind of distracting myself by doing things i ended up actually having all of my time filled after treatment with trying to cope with post-treatment and entering the real world again so there's definitely been some like ups and downs as well like my health has taken some weird turns at points um basically to summarize like i kept going neutropenic got sepsis a few times um because obviously my immune system is a bit shit uh i've had three covid vaccines i've got to have another one as soon as possible had my flu jab and I've gone into the menopause. So <laughs> lots of fun, interesting things that I've had to deal with. But um, the main thing is that as of right now, as far as we can tell, I'm cancer free. So to finish the kind of health related chat of like what's happening with my cancer situation, for right now, I've finished treatment as long as nothing bad happens that's it no more treatment done which is really really good news um i feel healthier than i've ever felt in my life obviously the cancer was going to happen at some point for me um so it had always been kind of in the background um ready to go and I think my body definitely feels different now that it's properly cancer free. And now that this has all happened, the difference is kind of crazy. Um, in terms of like, what am I doing with my life now? What am I doing with work? I'm currently taking quite a backseat with work. I've not really gone back to tattooing. I've not really gone back to doing any of the worky things that I used to do um mostly because I can't rely on my body to be a hundred percent enough of the time um in England where I live they do say that once you've had a blood cancer I'm not sure about other cancers um you are considered disabled for life and it's not that I want to ride that train forever, but I, at a certain point, I realised that that's there for a reason. It's there because the treatment is so incredibly hardcore that you're not going to be normal for a long, long time. Um, but I spend a lot of time trying to work towards healing my body and make myself better. Um, so you can probably tell that I've lost all of the weight that I gained on treatment and stuff. Um, mostly through a really healthy, um, diet and cutting out takeaway. Because <laughs> I ate so much takeaway when I was in hospital, but I was sad. And on steroids and roid rage is real. <laughs> um and I've been doing a lot of cardio so like running and cross trainer stair master that kind of thing at the gym and strength training with kind of my training plan is going towards like powerlifting kind of thing that's what I really look at and think I want to be able to do that um I just think if my body, like, if I can get my body to a point where it can do, like, powerlifting and stuff, I would personally feel so accomplished after everything that I've been through. 
I mean, I already feel quite accomplished with what I've done so far, but I feel like I can do a bit more and I really want to push for some heavyweights and doing something a bit different. <laughs> um, and I'm sure that at a certain point, my health will be completely stable enough for me to go back to working full time and that kind of thing. Because at the end of the day, I am young and I really hope that my future doesn't like just revolve around my health being bad forever. Um, that's obviously not what I want. Um, I feel like that's all there is to kind of update everyone on. Um, I've got a new Instagram because I wanted to kind of step away from the one that I was using pre-cancer because I don't feel like the same person. I'm definitely not the same person. Um, my personality has changed. My views on things have changed. My perspective like even my spiritual kind of beliefs have changed a bit so i kind of made some new social media and that will be linked below if you want to keep up to date with me and make sure i'm not dead um i feel like that's all i have to update you on my life is quite simple and safe and healthy and i feel great for it i feel like I've done such a total 180 on the video that I uploaded about a year ago today. It might be a year ago today, I don't know. If this is posted on the same day, that's hilarious. <laughs> um, but I've come a long way from sitting in a hospital room on an iPad, not being able to move. So I guess I've got that to be proud of. And I guess we will see where we are next year. Before I go, I'm just going to do a little hair growth update. As you can see, it's coming in quite well. I'll catch you guys soon and I'll try and leave it less long until next time I upload.